Mention the names Subaru and WRX and one conjures up imagery of loud blue paintwork and even louder boxer burbel and rally car performance. Subaru will be bringing out the new WRX model next year and it seems to have taken on a slightly more mature persona. But what if you wanted to cash in on the rawness of the current model now? We're at Subaru in Bryanston and I'm standing next to a three-year-old WRX. It's got 40,000 kilometers on the odometer and it's going for 289,000 rand. In late 2010, Subaru rolled out the wide body kit as standard on the WRX, so it sits like a steroidal bodybuilder. And just listen to how it sounds. We spoke to a Subaru service advisor and got an average breakdown of maintenance costs. Service intervals are every 15,000 kilometers. The next appointment at 45,000 kilometers could cost 1,800 Rand. Expect to pay 5,800 Rand for the 60,000 kilometer job. The 75,000 kilometer service might cost around 1,800 Rand and the 90,000 kilometer appointment could set you back 2,600 Rand. It requires a major service at 120,000 kilometers and that rings in at 13,500 Rand. These prices are inclusive of labor. You'll pay between 1,400 Rand and 1,700 Rand to replace one of its Pirelli P7 tires. Expect repayments in the region of 4,500 Rand a month if you slap down a 10% deposit and opt for a 60 month term. And the thing is, you don't mind committing to something like that because it's a robust car. I mean, when have you ever heard of anyone with an unreliable Subaru? Its 60 litre tank will cost about 780 Rand to fill, and Subaru gives a claim consumption figure of 10.4 litres per 100 kilometres. Real-world figures will be closer to the region of 14 litres per 100 kilometres, but for that smile-worthy performance, it's understandable. This is an authentic driver's car. If you prefer to waft along in a detached manner, it's not for you. It demands that you get involved. Everything feels engaging and mechanical. Shifting through this manual transmission requires a strong left hand and to operate the clutch pedal you're going to need meaty calves. Mind you, it is easier to live with than the hardcore WRX STI version. With that boxer engine burbling away in the background, this car is really entertaining and you get a nice strong turbocharged kick which is thrilling when you're doing the whole robot to robot thing which you will inevitably do because this is a WRX. As the motoring industry transforms and cars become more digital, it's nice to still have some immersive analog machines out there. Now we're sure the next WRX is going to be pretty special, but to own this original icon at a reasonable pre-owned price is still very enticing indeed. Thank you for joining us on another Surf for Cars review. You can check out some of our other videos here and please get social with us on Facebook, 
Google Plus and Twitter. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want more information on the car featured here, check out the description below where there's a link to the full assessment on the Surfo Cars website.